surviving the flood, assessing flood risk, and increasing resilience. Berwick, Maine. Part of EPA's mission is to help water and wastewater utilities build resiliency to disasters. Resiliency means the ability of that utility to maintain operations during a disaster or if there is damage done to be able to reduce that level of damage um, or if they lose uh, their ability to serve water or wastewater that they'll be able to restore those operations quickly. There are tens of thousands of water and wastewater utilities around the country that face all sorts of uh, disasters, hazards, extreme events. We want to assist with that resiliency and we want them to understand that uh, the way that you can build resiliency is to look at vulnerabilities and then to identify measures that can mitigate those hazards. We're here in Berwick to work on a resiliency pilot project to look at some of the vulnerabilities and ways to mitigate those vulnerabilities, in this case, flooding. We had two 100-year floods, one one year and one the next year. It was totally unexpected. <laughs> and the second one came with little warnings. Over the past two days, we've conducted an on-site vulnerability assessment for the Berwick Water Department and their water treatment plant, their st storage system, their intake system and their distribution system. So what we're hoping to do is give them some standard things that they can do, some uh, checklists that they can work through and vulnerabilities that they can look for in their water systems to try and come up with some sort of uh, mitigation measures. Increasing your utility's resilience to flooding will help you become better prepared for and prevent damage from future flooding events, especially considering that climate change impacts could result in more frequent and more intense flooding. You can assess your current resilience to flooding and improve your ability to reduce impacts by following these four steps. Understanding the threat of flooding by evaluating the likelihood and the potential severity of flooding at your utility identifying vulnerable assets and determining consequences, by assessing critical operations and equipment that may be disabled or damaged by flooding, identifying and evaluating mitigation measures, by considering actions that will protect your utility from future flooding, and developing a plan to implement mitigation measures, by prioritizing cost-effective mitigation measures and scheduling completion. First and foremost, one of the things we recommend to water systems to do is get to know their local emergency manager because that's going to be the key to uh, opening up state and federal funds to help avoid damage from future storms. I'd be implementing some planning right away and some low-cost alternatives right away and then looking at the big budget picture for other things. We're encouraging utilities to not wait for a disaster because it's much more costly after a disaster to restore operations and people's health and welfare are at stake. Think, of, think ahead, make plans now, reduce the risk and uh, you'll be happy in the end. EPA has many products to help utilities assess their vulnerabilities and go through this process themselves. Get started today at water.epa.gov slash infrastructure slash water security.